Nuts are one of those ingredients that taste absolutely incredible and there's so much you can do with them. So in this one, I'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorite snacks, which is crystallized nuts. They taste absolutely incredible and they're so easy to make. Please sit back, relax and enjoy. All right guys, let's start this off with 170 grams or six ounces of pistachio nuts or really any nut of your choice and tip them out onto a baking tray lined with parchment paper. Proceed by spreading your nuts all over the tray just so they're not on top of one another and make your way over to a preheated oven set to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit and roast these bad boys for six minutes to release their oils and enhance their flavor. Six minutes later, carefully pop open your oven, remove the nuts and then turn it off as we won't be needing it anymore. Place the nuts onto a heat resistant surface and grab each corner of the parchment paper to centralize the nuts on the tray and continue by lifting the parchment paper up from each corner which will create a funnel and let the nuts glide through the parchment paper express into a small bowl or jug which will make it safer and easier to work with in the next step. Place a medium to large saucepan onto your stovetop adding in 120 milliliters or four fluid ounces of cold water along with 170 grams or six ounces of caster sugar and granulated white sugar also works well. Once that's in, crank this onto a high heat, give the saucepan a swell to ensure the sugar is completely submerged in the water, and then bring this to a boil. Now that it's boiling, allow it to do so for roughly five to six minutes, just until you see the slightest bit of browning on the edges, and make sure not to touch it, as what we're making here for now is the base to toffee, and we don't want to form any crystals just yet. If you didn't know, sugar crystals are formed as a result of a supersaturated solution, and a supersaturated solution is where there is more sugar than could be dissolved in water under normal conditions. At the high temperatures that this is boiling at, the sugar will remain a solution even though most of the water has boiled away, but when the toffee is through cooking and begins to cool, there is more sugar in the solution that is normally possible, which then the solution is said to be supersaturated with sugar. One last thing, supersaturation is an unstable state and the sugar molecules will begin to crystallize back into a solid at any sort of disturbance, which is the reasoning to why we don't want to touch this and just allow it to do its thing. Okay, so six minutes later, we can start to see some coloring on the sides, which means we can add in the roasted nuts. Then using a wooden spoon, continuously stir this for two to three minutes to knock some air into the sugar solution to start the crystallization stage. Make sure to keep this moving around now as if we were to stop, this mixture would solidify into one clump which don't get me wrong is absolutely fantastic, but what we want here is for each individual nut to have its own coating. As I was explaining before, there is now less water than sugar solution, so the sugar is going to form together and stick back together. I've been working with sugar for such a long time now and it still amazes me how this happens and all of the chemistry behind it, and I hope you're enjoying it too. Okay, so after about one minute of mixing, you'll start to see the sugar look almost like it's creating a foam around the nuts, which shows us that we're on the right track. This is the part where thoroughly mixing is extremely crucial as it can now become easy to burn. All we're looking for now is for the nuts to almost sound like you're mixing pebbles or little rocks in the saucepan, which tells us that the crystallization is complete. And also, please, whatever you do, do not try these as it will scorch your mouth and leave you with some serious damage. Anyway, once the nuts are completely crystallized and look like this, turn them off the heat and remove them from the stovetop. Quickly pour the nuts onto the same baking tray and parchment paper to save dishes, making sure to scrape out everything to avoid any wastage. Also, for a cleaning tip, fill your pot back up with water and bring it to a boil, which will safely remove any stuck sugars in your saucepan. We can now spread these out to allow them to cool down, and you'll find that as they're still hot, they can be soft, but allowing them to cool down will allow the crystallized sugar to fully set and create an amazing crunch on the surface. Once the nuts have fully cooled down, pour them through the parchment paper express into a clean glass jar or airtight container, which we can then pop on the lid and store these in a cool dark space. So there we have it, quick and easy crystallized nuts that taste absolutely incredible and they're so easy to make. These are obviously stored in a glass jar or airtight container in a cool dark space, but make sure you don't store them in the fridge as when you put sugar in the fridge, it will kind of melt down and these will just turn into a soggy mess. Also, these will last about six weeks, but I can guarantee you'll eat them before then. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button and consider subscribing to see hundreds of more fantastic recipes. Thanks for watching everyone, stay safe and enjoy.